This tutorial will show you how to create a collaborative website in Google Sites. It's going to look something similar to this if I just open up this page. It's a straightforward project page. So the teacher set up a task where students have to create a Bayo Tapestry project with three pieces. One is a annotation of the piece of the tapestry. The second one is a collaborative writing um, exercise. And the third one is a presentation. The teacher wants them to use Google Sites and Google Documents to work in tandem and to present everything online and to work and collaborate uh, online. So the website is set up into different sections. The first one is an annotation and the annotation is now, has now been embedded from Google Documents. So it's a collaborative drawing essentially so if, um, you know, of, of the Bayer Tapestry. There's also a link here so that students can go to their website and work together on the same piece. There's a presentation. Similarly, it's been embedded from Google Documents. So if I click here, for example, as a student, it will take me to the, um, to the presentation, which is live. If I click Actions, I can then um, edit this if I have permission. So for example, if I share that with the rest of my class, they can go in and they can add their bits to, to the presentation which is very handy for independent work and also, of course, for homework or after-school clubs. And the final section of this website is a blog. This blog is perfect to use for students if they want to keep a running dialogue about what needs to be done, for example, particularly when it comes to their own independent uh, target setting. So if you're doing, for example, an independent learning project, this is ideal to use. So this is an ideal engine to, to use. So, how do you do this? Well, once you've logged into Google Sites, you click Create New Site. You give it a name, okay? So, let's call it a Class Website. Then you can choose a theme, you can play around with that later. More option, this is the important bit. Um, you might want to give a category so it's easy to find, for example, history or something similar. Site description, you'll explain what it is. This is the important bit now. Collaborate with, you can either share with everyone in Norfolk under the same domain, so all schools uh, in Norfolk, or you can specify who you'd like to share with. Then create, click Create Site. This will only take a few seconds because there's nothing there as such. You add all the content. So on the left hand side, you have the menus section, which is part of the bigger th section called the sidebar. The sidebar will come into play in later tutorials. So everything you add to the menu is called a page. So we're going to create a page now. So if you remember in the Year 7 um, example that had an annotation. So we're going to create that first. That's part of a web page because um, it's, it's linked to Google Documents. Okay, I'm going to put it under Home, Create Page. And as you notice, there's nothing there because we need to link it with a part of Google Documents. You will click Documents, and as you logged in already, it will take you to all your documents that you created before. And this one, here's the drawing. I've clicked the drawing. I like to embed this, so I'll click Publish to the Web. I'll click Embed Code. I'll copy that. I will then go back and then go back to my page and I will click HTML. This is how straightforward it is. Once you've done it once, it will be um, you know it will be a doddle when you when you kind of work in between different websites. Then click update and always make sure you click save, because otherwise there won't be anything there. You probably notice that the um, the drawing is rather large. Well you can change that when you embed it. So click save. Um, then you can also add a link here to go to the uh, two Google documents so they can share. So if we go back, I just wanted to show you a few times so you, you know what to do. The only thing I need to do here is to either begin to share and email. So you can email everybody uh, within your group that you want to, uh, to share. Um, or you just simply copy this link Get rid of this. Under most normal circumstances, you probably wouldn't delete the page each time I exit from the page, uh, but it's, it's quicker to show you. 
So you need to edit this page, and of course you would click then edit page. So within this, we're going to put the link just underneath here. So I put uh, edit drawing. I will highlight that, scroll up, get to link, and you can either you can either link to um, to within this page, or you can link to outside of the page which we're doing now. I tend to tick open this link in a new window uh, because it's very easy to exit and exit and exit for the different screens and suddenly students have lost where they were, uh, particularly for, for the younger ones. So that's that's where it is. You click save. So now you have you created your first page. The second page that we had was very similar to this one. It was the presentation and it's exactly the same procedure. You give a name, you select web page because it will be embedded and then you will um, embed first of all so people can just view the presentation if they like. So you get into Google Docs again and under share <coughs> you have publish embed very similar to the last one you can choose how big you want it to be and you know if you want it to, to start automatically and stuff okay let's go back and as we did before get into HTML click update and you notice this already there click save and there you have it yeah. so if students wish to collaborate on this the only thing they need to do is to click open document and if they're logged in and if they have permission they'll automatically be taken to um, to the edit um, you know to, to the administration panel of, of the presentation so they can add their, their own slides and and, and, and so on the final thing that the Year 7 Collaborative website had was a blog feature. So let's click, click um, Create Page again. And here we will add, you can call it comments, you can call it blog, you can call it chat, something similar. Click Announcements, that's basically the mini blog uh, feature of Google Sites. Click Create Page. As it's a blog, there's nothing there yet, so you need to click New Post. This is superb if a student wants to keep a running dialogue about what's happening. So for example, you can put things we need to do. Hi guys, this is a new project and then you can begin to explain who's going to do what. Brilliant for target setting, uh, as I mentioned earlier. If you're working independently, this is a superb opportunity for them uh, to be in complete control of their, their resource. Click save and there you have it. This is the class website.